All right, welcome back to another video. On today's video, fuck. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to do the edited by T Muddy intro, like in his videos. Um, the first thing you guys need to do is just download After Effects. I have a file in my description to download it. It's completely free, and all you need to do is like you guys need to have WinRAR by the way. All you need to do is download it, download it, drag it onto your desktop, right click it extract here and like this folder should pop up once the folder has popped up you want to double click the folder click on setup pre-activated and then you just want to double click setup and it's pretty straightforward from there you should know what to do just like english and then where you want to install it and yeah after that you need this template right here this template is like for the actual intro and then it's going to be in my file too in my descriptions all you need to do is just download it drag it onto your desktop once you forgot after effects and like this too all you want to do is just double click after effects After you have opened up After Effects, it should like pop up warning like this should just pop up. All you want to do though is just click on OK. And then you just wait for it to render. As you can already see, it's literally already made. You don't need to do anything. Like this video is showing and you have to do like at least like an hour of like just like movement and stuff. It's like really complicated, but this is just like a template. As you can see, if you display it, it looks literally exactly the same as Timari's. And then the thing you want to do is you just want to click on name. Move your timeline to the middle a bit. And then double click on name, then click on it again, and then just remove the name. My name is Vervity, so I'm just gonna put in Vervity. And then sometimes, like, your name might be a little bit too big, so it like overlaps with the edit by thingy. And then all you wanna do is just highlight it, and then right here, 214VX, you just wanna move it down a bit, like, scale it down. Like, right there is perfect. Wait, actually, a little bit low. It's like, a little bit, like, the V, the tip is, like, really touching it. Like, like right there is perfect. And all you wanna do is just move your timeline to the beginning, click on display. As you can see, that's all you need to do. It's pretty clean, pretty simple. It looks the exact same as Timari's. Alright, after you're done with that, all you want to do is click on File, Export, and then Add to Adobe Media Encoder queue, and then just render it from there. Uh, what's it called? Many people don't have Adobe Media Encoder, so you're just going to download it. Once again, I'll be in my description. It's completely free. You're just going to download it, and then you just click on it, and that's it, guys. That's all you need to do for the Timari intro. You just render it, and then you have it.